this is a beautiful PDF document. What if you want to use annotations and send it to a client? The all new PDF Element 7, a best in class PDF editor from Wondershare, can do it for you. You can use some awesome annotation features, such as you can highlight the text, underline paragraph or statement, strike the text, add sticky notes, and you can also use stamps very easily. For more information about the PDF Element 7 and its annotation features, refer the links in the video description. Hey everyone, Creative Venus here and welcome to another beautiful tutorial. And today we will create a beautiful infographics design uh, along with morph animation as you can see on your screen. And this is a multi-purpose infographic design which you can leverage in any of your presentation. So please subscribe to our channel, join the membership and hit the bell icon so that you can get regular notifications whenever we will upload a video. So let's start the tutorial. So like every tutorial, it starts with inserting a shape. So we have inserted this slanted rectangle here and we will place it like this. And remove its outline and fill a nice color duplicate it and place it over it slightly increase the uh, size by expanding it from the corner apply shadow effect the left shadow effect now you can adjust the sliders here so that you can get the best output here. So you, here you can try different ways to showcase shadows, whatever looks good to you. You can experiment here. On the background parallelogram, fill the white color and on the top parallelogram also fill the white color now you will get a effect like this now again insert this shape and make sure the angle matches the line that we have just created you can zoom in the slide to make sure the angle is perfectly aligned and matches with the shape that we have created earlier and now it's perfectly fine now slightly move it towards the left and we will do something here that will make it look more realistic and 3d insert this triangle here remove its outline rotate it make sure it fits here edge to edge now we need to rotate it again like this and send it to back now just zoom out and you can see I have already placed a small color palette at the left bottom left corner now we will fill a gradient color on this bar and you already know how to fill the gradient color i explain about gradients in almost all of my videos because i use gradients excessively
so this is pretty simple to create and it's not very complex and you can easily create it so infographics are you know very important as they can easily catch the targeted audience's attention so if we talk about humans in general so we are we love visuals and we are always attracted to visual elements and we get the attention so if text fails to you know get our attention we get the information from the visuals so infographics are very important to to you know help the user understand the information also it's a very nice way to represent a text because text is quite plain and one might read it one might not and there are chances that if text is long lengthy then people tend to scroll the page without reading all the information but when text is presented with the help of infographics and visual inputs then there are chances that infographics are consumed more as compared to text information because we love visuals as a human that's why youtube is very popular than blogging sites because text can't express itself and infographics and videos help text to express basically it's a medium to make the text uh, more prominent so we are filling text information here i am using dummy content here so you can fill your own content you don't have to fill text here you can write numbers percentages some insights anything any process that you define in your presentation you can fill it here you can also add the images here as you can see our first infographic is almost ready now we are adding the percentage here so this is just a default layout of adding the information your information might look different there might be bullet points then you can add bullet points here some of you might have some icons some of you might have images here so this is just a placeholder so i have placed the icon at the bottom but you can also place it on the top bar also you can place it on the left that will also look good you can try that and try it with different color palettes I have used this one but you can try different color palettes and you can check uh, Google images for color palettes you can also try Pinterest and when you will search color palettes there you will find lots of option on the Pinterest it's a good website to find color combinations and the best part of every presentation is when you can reuse the components so you are a good presentation designer if you are able to re reuse the components that you have designed I always make sure whatever I create I can reuse it so now we will create the four copies of it this infographic element 
and we just have to change the information and text here so this way we will save time and efforts I am just you know aligning this making sure everything is perfectly placed and I want to add four level infographics here so I am also creating the place for the fourth part now duplicate it again and place it like this but now it is slightly touching the corner so we have to distribute them horizontally like this and group them all and align center and the infographic design is almost ready so as you can see this is a very easy design to create and not a rocket science Sometimes the designs look really complex, but when you start designing it and these are just uh, you know set of some shapes coupled together so These things end up being such a good design and these designs look complex, but These are really simple to create you just have to understand the tricks and process behind it so you'll get to know more of it when you will start practicing i know most of you download templates that I have provided but i would also request you to you know watch the videos and also learn how you can create these kind of presentations and slides because most of the business deals in this world happens with the help of powerpoints So PowerPoint is a great tool which is quite underestimated as compared to the creative tools from Adobe and other such brands and PowerPoint is widely used because it is very simple and you don't have to I mean get a degree or you have to specially specially learn it but it's just a tool where you can just drag and drop the information and the product is ready so well it, it's it's a great tool when you want to express yourself and you want to highlight your achievements your sales report and information it's one of the easiest tool to present yourself even a portfolio I have created uh, three videos recently on portfolios only and resumes and when it comes to infographics these are being widely used amongst businesses and organizations in both digital and print and they are quite clear and very effective way of presenting information without losing the attention of the viewer even if you you know look at the excel sheet where users have to scroll lots of lines and numbers and data to understand and consume the information but when you you know get the crux on of the information present and present it infographically that's a different kind of impact it will create on the user So now you can see we have almost completed our design and now we will create the animation part for that 
you need to create six slides for it on each slide you have to add one infographic so these are four infographics on each slide you can add you just have, you just have to add the infographic here and place the next infographic out of the slide area like this and similarly on the next slide you can place the next infographic outside of the slide area and I know it, it sounds confusing like how to create this but when you will download the template from the G Drive link given in the video description you will come to know and understand what I am talking about so this is the final result and this is a very beautiful animation so if you have liked our work you can hit the like button please subscribe to our channel we need more subscribers and we want to reach 200,000 subscribers and you can also join the membership as well and that way you will support us and it will give us more motivation and we will create more such videos so thank you guys thank you for watching this video till the end and I'm leaving you guys with this beautiful animation thank you have a nice day